Right, here we are. I'm gonna follow another YouTube video. Today, I think this is the 14th of February. It's about 10.35ish. And I'm heading to a little known place called Little Glen Shee. Been there before, filmed it before didn't like the the video output. It didn't, it didn't look particularly good. So today we're going to head there and we're going to give it another go. So come on join me for the ride and enjoy some magnificent scenery. Right, we'll catch you at the entrance to Little Glen Chief. So let's orientate today's ride. Uh, Dundee's over here, Perth at the side, and up northwest uh, we have Little Glen Shee. It's just south of Dunkeld, um, around past the A9. The A9 runs up that way. So I headed up through Cooper Angus, I went across Cooper Angus, the back road, through Bankfoot, and I came down and started the ride down at this point here. Uh, you see me approaching the junction, we go in here, I stop, I sort the cameras and then I head off towards the car park at Little Glen Shee. When I get to the car park, I throw the drone up, get some terrific drone shots, um, have a cup of tea, have a chat with with an old guy who sneaked up on the back of me about jumped out of my skin. Uh, he was on an electric bike, I didn't hear him turn up um, and then when I turned round, he was about five or six feet away from me. Gee whiz. Uh, anyway, we had a great chat um, for about 20 minutes. And then we headed out. So we head out, we head along, and we end up down at this junction beside, beside this uh, house on the corner. All right, let's go and have a look at the video and see what you think. Right, this is the start of Little Glen Sheep. Right, here we are. This is the Little Glen Sheep loop. Queerly like the blinking high seat. Lovely stream down there. That's a beautiful bit of road. Single track, of course. So we'll get the joy if I meet someone else. Enjoy this road. Gorgeous. Now it is nippy. It is a bit cool. But this is like a Valentour in terms that it's a dead end, a loop. So it's a road to nowhere really, except back on itself. But there are people who, who live here and work here. Plenty of farms. I'm just hoping the video comes out better than it did the last time. Um, I had thought I switched the DJI action, the original one, on. Yeah, close this, it's a bit cool. And uh, 
uh, to be honest, it never switched on. Now, I got the screws coming the other way, but by this time I'd missed all the, the lovely bits of, of those heads. But we will see once we get there. There's a, a bit of a mist around today. And it looks like it's chucking the rain down there. Oops. But where we're going, which is over there, it is, um, it looks fine. <coughs> Let's hope it stays over there, eh? elevation and we're entering the mountain ranges You know it's going to get bad here when you see snow pole, the snow poles at the side of the road. But it's absolutely fine today. How gorgeous is that? cars on this bit? No. It's noticeable how how much the landscape changes. Just in, I don't know, less than 10 minutes, that's for sure. And we're getting very close to where we're going to stop. I'm going to have a cup of tea. There we are, we're going to stop down there. How beautiful is that? And we've got a bit of a water crossing as well. Uh, it doesn't look too bad today. Ah, gorgeous stuff. Absolutely gorgeous stuff. Beautiful. Right, there's the water crossing. It's pretty low today. Like moles or something, isn't it? Yeah. And here we are. So, let's go and have a look. Look 
you that. Big car. 
Cottage. Fabulous. This is what you call secluded. Couldn't live here. The internet would be abysmal. And that is the end of the Little Glen Sheet Loop. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.